Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another casual commentary. Today we're playing with the experimental changes. I actually haven't played much Brawlhalla in the past handful of days because, and this goes into the first topic of the video, I did end up going to the doctor. I mentioned it in a couple past videos where I was setting up the appointment and everything. Uh, and the doctor told me that I have, I have it here, uh, generalized anxiety disorder and possibly ADHD. So that's, uh, that's pretty heckin' cool. It was a wild experience though, because the doctor was really, really rude for no reason. Very unprofessional. They were asking me questions and then I would answer the questions. And then they, they told me, stop wasting my time. I was like, well, y y you're the one that asked me. I did, I did, this is a test. I failed the test. I don't know what's going on here. So I think it's safe to say that they were a, a tad cringus, if you will. And I'm going to get a second opinion from a sci psychologist, sci seismologist, and they'll let me know what's up in me old bones. In other news, I'm continuing a channel tradition from last year that I think you guys will like. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Check this out. Bah. Okay, sorry, continuing a tradition. Yeah, I'm doing another end of year Q&A, so if you have any questions you want me to answer, leave them in this video. This video, okay? This video only, or the community post, but I, I, I don't read community posts, so I can't expect you to. Uh, and I will answer the best ones in a future video, probably the, the, the couple days, few days, we'll see how long it takes and how good your guys' questions are. Make sure they're good ones, because if they're bad, we're gonna cyberbully you. Let me correct myself. I, I shouldn't say we. I don't want the community to cyberbully. I'm not. I'm not encouraging that. Okay, bullying's wrong. I will cyberbully you. Something you probably noticed is that the keyboard sounds are gone, and it's in big part because I figured out that my mic stand or my mic arm, I don't know what's actually called. It's like the cheapest one. It's fifteen dollars. I've had it for what three years now. I can. Uh, actually move it around a lot more than I shouldn't do that while I'm playing uh, a lot more than I thought and I can put it at an angle that eliminates the keyboard sounds because it just it's not in the range it doesn't pick up and uh I, I don't know it feels a little off I kind of miss it oh wait this is gonna be good this is gonna, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it feels like something's missing in this wasteland uh, of the keyboard world this is gonna be sick okay watch this watch this I'm gonna combo them and light a big end light into Nair I <laughs> Okay, I'm alive. It's fine. I, that was almost really bad. I got straight up spiked. I thought it would like ra range would hit them. Turns out when you scythe near someone, you like pull them inwards and then you go upwards a little bit. I probably could have planned that one out better. But anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to try and find a nice middle ground between this and uh, how it was before because I, I kind of miss it. It's kind of soothing. It's like when you listen to melee players and you hear the, the GameCube controller. It, it's really nice. I don't I don't like watch AMS Massar. But I kind of understand when I listen to GameCube controllers, so maybe that's what you guys are talking about with the keyboard. What else? What else? What else? One of my favorite creators, Naked Jacob, released a song uh, yesterday. Oh, I don't know when this video is going up, but it was yesterday when I'm recording this. That is is so good. I've just been bumping it all day. Um, what else? What else? Oh yeah, there's this entire game-changing Brahola stuff that entirely reworks the dodge, which is the central mechanic to the entire game. I said entire three times because it's a it's a big it's a Michelin tire, and I like these changes. They're a lot of fun. There are some things that definitely need tweaking in my opinion. I think chase dodges are something to look at gravity cancel is definitely something to look at and weapon throws in particular i'll see if i can use a bunch of them this game it seems really really powerful to have access to a neutral breaking tool like that when someone doesn't have quick access themselves to a, a safe evasion because jumping a lot of the time if someone dash jump weapon throws for example uh even diagonally into the ground you won't be able to escape so yeah that that was an accident but yeah, not having access to a good defensive option to escape those weapon throws, and I, I think defensive has a pretty bad name for some reason, but you want good defensive play and good offensive play in a game to make it feel good for everyone and, and not make it feel like you're just endlessly getting hit. They didn't just insta-jump there, which is super good. We'll see if I can get a sky combo here. But yeah, because the dodge has such a big cooldown, uh, it is pretty brutal to get that dodge baited out or even punished from something that is pretty quick and also relatively safe. I personally think this is probably an issue more with balancing weapon throws than balancing the dodge, because the dodge seems to work pretty well in most areas. Again, it is a test feature, so it's pretty janky sometimes, especially with those GCs, and chase dodging feels pretty bad, like I said, but yeah, I, I think weapon throws have needed a, a look at for a long time. Okay, they're not, yeah, they're, they're, I don't think that's happening. They didn't do that last game, so I don't think they're gonna jump down there, but yeah, it, it's something that I think could use some tweaking, especially. Actually, uh, that was an all or nothing, but you could see in that stock the weapon throws were very effective I don't know what could be done though. We got geniuses working. That was such a terrible punish. Oh my god Oh my god. Oh my god. Look away. Okay. I missed three dares and got the kill. The luck is on my side 
But yeah, like I mentioned at the start, I really haven't put that much time into this yet, so this is simply just first impression. That's a full punish where I not would not have been able to get that before, also not able to get that when I should have chased dodge for sure. Um, yeah, it's first impressions, which I think themselves are valuable. Please don't ask what I'm doing. I, I don't have an answer 99% of the time. Even if you asked, I wouldn't know. Um, but yeah, uh, what I've noticed is that offstage is quite different because of the dodge timing. We'll see. Can I get another Nair here? I think I can get two more. Okay, there's one. I should be able to get one more if I space this properly. I... They down aired. I didn't think they were going to down air. I didn't think they were going to down air. I'm going to be honest. I also down aired. I don't know why I down aired the down air. That was, that was a bit stupid. But um, yeah, because you don't have your dodge up as often as you would before, you get put sometimes into offstage scenarios like that, for example, where you might get gimped way earlier because instead of having a dodge on the ground and then you get hit off stage and you have an instant dodge again uh you're put into a scenario where your dodge is on full cooldown albeit that cooldown is lighter or it's less dramatic and so while you might get put into a gimp situation more often i think you'll get gimped less Okay, that's actually not entirely what I mean to say. Proportionally, you'll get gimped less because your offstage dodge is stronger. You might get gimped more numerically wise. I might gimp myself. Oh, yeah, I can live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, that that was that was a bit close. But yeah, whenever one gets used to this dodge, a pure gimp will be more difficult because the dodge comes back faster. But putting someone into a gimp scenario to begin with is gonna be so much easier. So it, it's a trade-off. I am so damaged, I don't want to die here. Maybe we can get something off stage. They're leaping off stage. Okay, I already know I'm going to end my existence with this bomb. I've been burned one too many times. I gotta... <laughs> Alright. Wushong, I know you see it there. I know you see... No! 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 That almost made me vomit. I would like to apologize for my conduct in the previous game. That that wasn't me. That's not indicative of my normal behavior. This is going to be a punish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They might think that they should get their dodge back earlier. Okay, this is what I'm talking about with the gimp stuff. Like, with that whole sequence, they might think, okay, if I can touch the ground briefly here, I'll be able to get my dodge back. But that's no longer the case. God, all these new changes and new gameplay stuff is just so exciting because I've never been someone that just plays a ton of games Ooh, all the time. Okay, I'm glad that worked out because I, I got lost in the sauce there. Um, but yeah, this is what? Wh okay, ignoring whatever just happened, I we're we're gonna make up for it. I'm gonna hit the the, the sickest combo of all time. Ready? Is it downlight weapon throw into GC bait into cider closer to the right side of the map? It was to get an earlier knockout. Not everyone sees like I do, and it shows. Let's be honest here, not everyone should. I, I mean, this is the guy that, that talked, that he said he got the diagnostics. So I don't know if you should listen. This is gonna be a combo. Why did it send the other way? Why did I not reverse? I, I mean, who could who could have predicted such a thing? Probably somebody, maybe not Nostranamus. It's not me. We're take two in this thing. Downlight into downstick. Weapon throw up, ready, downlight, boom. I... Yep. Okay, I'm actually quite excited for this match. I think this is the first time I'm playing against Greatsword with these changes. I have a feeling like Greatsword is going to be so strong. It's already got such a good ground game and air game, and it just makes it better. Totally misinput it there. It's fine. Okay, get the KO. That's some that's some good old Nick side sig. You'd love to see it. Uh, yeah, I, I think Greatsword's going to be very strong, so it's good to get some practice in. Uh, play against some good peeps. Maybe get a ground pound there. Okay, that that's that's two KOs. That's nice. I oh, something is. I thought there was a rat underneath my desk. Turns out it was my gray sock and my foot was tapping and moving around. Who would have thunk it? Not me. Maybe a third gimp here. You get a, a nair. Squeeze in a nair. Another nair. That was really close. That was really also bad. I don't know how these situations keep working out for me. I, I almost got flooded like a swy. <laughs> what? Let's calm down, just focus on the gameplay, get this weapon here, go down, ground pound, not gonna get that. Up against a vector here, uh, I don't know if they're gonna do some of the offstage jank that you can do. That's gonna be a full punish, yeah, those spot dodges are risky now. Um, yeah, I don't know if they're gonna do it, but we'll find out. I suppose not gonna get that second side sig, it would've been nice. Okay, I'm good. I thought I might have gimped myself. I do that a lot. Yeah. A little known fact that used to be called the Z, because there was a player named Z Zombie, who was my 2v2 partner, in fact, and uh, they SD'd a lot, and so it was named after them. Maybe I can get some nice platform movement here. In, out, down, sig. There we go. I'm glad I got that, because if I missed the platform, that would have been a high dodge cooldown. If nothing else, these dodge changes are definitely pushing me to try and uh, practice my ledge cancel, because if I miss them, it's it's bad. Like, it's not a good thing. Maybe I can get something nice here with the, with the guns. I can get one 
one of these dip down below. I'm going to try to do the instant ground pound. Oh, that was so close. 605 to 212. That was the most insane spacing I've ever done, and it was completely by accident. Okay, I can't knock them off stage with the guns. I think they might die. Just keep trying. Just keep trying. One of these days it's going to hit. No way, man. There have been a lot of misinputs today that, for some reason, just completely work in my favor. You see that spot dodge? That was a full punish. Read the dodge down. Sarah Dare. Maybe get a side light. Okay, they got their dodge back. I don't know if that would have been pre patched. That's some timing. I don't know if you hear my elbow crack. That was. That was a good elbow crack. Um, yeah, that, that was some timing. I don't know. Scythe strings are not something that I'm extremely adept at. It's not something I've practiced a ton. So I don't know the really intricate details about when you get your dodge back and when you don't other than uh, the most basic stuff. We're going to the ceiling here. Another Nair. Okay, if I get that Nair, I think it KOs even Scythe Nair. I try to pick up my Scythe there and get a down sig. I would have been able to extend that. That's unfortunate that I didn't get that, but it's okay. It's okay. I've uh, <laughs> That breakdance has done me well in the past, so it only makes sense that uh, it's time for my comeuppance and it no longer KOs for me. I do want to get a KO that's quite sneaky beaky like if I can try maybe a weapon toss with spike ball spike ball is going to be all right I'm going to send you up into this forward up into the air recovery ground pound no I should have just GC downlighted I, that, I would have done that with a normal weapon toss but spike balls sometimes have that crazy force so I thought it would send way further down below now now I'm just sad okay maybe a little less sad Last game of the vidium. Let's make it a good one. Also, my first time playing against cannon. Cannon's another one of those weapons that I think will be so good with these dodge changes once people get really good at those strings. This is so stupid. And it and it worked. Okay, this is I don't know what I don't know what to say. Like sometimes I don't know what to say. I've been getting really lucky recently playing Brahala. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's only because I I don't play that many hours. I spend most of my time in Adobe Premiere. That's gonna be a full punish. I just I just stopped sit there wait sat there, sat there waiting. Maybe should have landed. Should have gone for a downline. A lot of shoulda woulda cutty here. Ba -be -ba -be. Okay, sorry. It comes in waves. Uh, mines, mines, mines. If I just get one simple kick out of the way, there we go. Kick and then kick into the mine. There we go. That's the one, two. That's the two kicks. That's a two kick technique. I'm glad this is the last game because I'm getting pretty hungry. I don't know what I'm going to eat for dinner tonight. Maybe I'll eat egg soup. It is a real thing. People always ask me that Like ever since I started the channel, if it was a real thing. It, it is. I didn't invent it. Although, I guess if you look up egg soup real name on Google, it, the answer does make it seem like I am the creator. But I was not endowed with that cooking prowess. I don't, I don't deal on. The only thing I can cook up is half baked scythe strings. But I suppose that's enough for the day. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll take care. I'll take care. Wait, that, that's that's not right. You take care. Oh, no.